So I just got back from a 10 day trip to Portugal with my family. I don't know about you, but I feel like anytime I travel for an extended amount of time, it takes me a few days to kind of like get my footing back under me and feel like a normal person again. I need to unpack, do laundry, clean up my room, go to the grocery store, get some groceries, catch up on a little bit of work because I didn't do too much work while I was out there. So that's what this video is gonna be about. Just me kind of getting my life back together. Hope you guys enjoy it. It's currently 12.55 p.m. This morning was dedicated to editing video content for a retainer client that I have here in LA called Monarch Athletic Club. It's like a health and wellness center. So I was doing video content for them. Now, second half of the day, I'm making video content for brand deals, actually for social media. One's for Lexar and one's for Fujifilm, which is pretty cool. I shot the content in Portugal, which is super fun. Now I just have to edit it, continuing to do some laundry and clean my room slowly but surely, but gotta knock out the client work stuff first, then I feel like my head will be clear to really get my room clean and then focus on some more personal social media stuff like Instagram Reels and TikToks. And I also filmed a bunch of horizontal stuff, so I wanna make that into a YouTube video, which I'll probably knock out over the next couple days or maybe this weekend. So I'm going through my favorite photos that I took in Portugal on my uh, Fujifilm X106. And what's cool is you can change the film simulation of the actual photo if you shoot in RAW plus JPEG. So I made my own recipe, which is just kinda like you tweak all the settings. But for the Fujifilm video that I need to make, I need to showcase the photos using a cloud classic film simulation from Fujifilm. So I'm going through all my favorites, pulling them up on my computer, finding them on my phone, and then changing the film simulation and making a completely new image with that regular film simulation from Fujifilm so that I can make the video for them. But this camera honestly was so much fun to use in uh, in Portugal and I had a blast using it. This is for sure just gonna be like my everyday carry and my go-to camera when I travel now. some of these juice shots because I just like haven't been feeling great after my uh, trip. So we're gonna go down the hatch. First one is ginger. <sighs> Never easy. I also got a ton of fruit. Um, I don't eat enough fruit and I need to incorporate that more into my diet. So I got some strawberries. Second one. And last one. But yeah, got some strawberries, got some uh, mandarins, got some bananas, got some apples, and we got blackberries. All right, let's put this all away. Failed to mention earlier in this video is that the last few days have been very rough. I got some sort of stomach bug flu uh, on the last day traveling home from Portugal. So I've been down bad the last couple of days. So 
getting back on my feet has been harder than normal, but here we go down the hatch with some Pepto-Bismol, chaser pre and post. <laughs> Ugh. Making a bed solo is not an easy task, but we got it done. <laughs> Made my bed, cleaned my room, kind of, still needs a little bit of work. Uh, did my laundry, finished my client work, which is great. Now I'm editing our new podcast with Jacob Owens that depending on when you're watching this video, it's coming out in two days. If you don't know who Jacob Owens is, he's a super talented filmmaker, but he has created a few businesses that are super successful within the filmmaking space. It was really cool to talk to him about his whole journey and mindset going into these businesses because it's rare that you get to be around someone who's had so much success on the business side of things. I feel like filmmaking and photography gets the rap that like you can't make a huge living off of and he's certainly proved that completely wrong. Um, so that was really, really cool to connect with him. Braden and I literally drove six hours to Arizona, podcasted for an hour and a half and drove straight back. It was a crazy day, but it's one of my favorite podcasts um, that we've done. So I will link that in the description of this video. That's it for this first YouTube video. I haven't made a YouTube video in over like two years i think it feels really good to film something horizontally these types of videos the getting your life together types of videos i love watching for some reason when i watch somebody make these kinds of videos i feel like i'm being productive getting my life together as well as far as this youtube channel goes i'm taking all the pressure off of myself i'm going to be uploading hopefully you know two to three videos a month but if i don't it's all good i feel like i've wanted to do youtube for a really long time and recently i have I've had this like gut like feeling of start making YouTube videos and make it a priority. Um, I think what held me back was I was putting a lot of pressure on myself to feel like I needed to make these crazy edited videos every single week and it really stressed me out and I feel like if I just take the pressure off myself, it'll be really fun. Um, I love making videos. They don't need to be crazy edited. I wanna show you guys you know, the behind the scenes of us building the podcast, uh, more insight into my life expanding on what I do on TikTok and Instagram with the short form content, giving you guys, you know, educational pieces of content regarding photography, videography, gear reviews, all sorts of stuff, vlogs, who knows. I'm just excited to be making videos again and it feels really good to film something horizontally. I feel like so much of what I do is vertical. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new here, I'm Kostas. Like the video, subscribe if you want, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.